Hi Pisces, we're here to take a look at you and your person. So this would be for Pisces who is dealing with a person. Definitely, because I do definitely feel as if this is some sort of connection, some sort of relationship. It could be someone that you're just talking to, um, but yeah. And you two have been through a lot. <laughs> it feels like, it does feel like that. Um, but I can tell you that it's really beautiful, actually. I really am in love with this reading. So, my name is Heidi, and I stir the sauce. If you're looking for um, personal readings, please check out the link in my description. I do um, regular energies for every 48 hours, and then I throw in a couple of love readings. Um, you know, I may even start doing a, a money reading, career money reading, if anyone's interested in that. Just let me know. And thank you for your support. So, um, the energy between you and this person, Pisces, is that... <laughs> It's like you both know that you're soulmates, but but neither neither one of you say it. It almost feels like it's understood, but it's kind of like, I don't know what's going on now. I don't know if you're just trying to maintain the peace with each other or something, but there's this energy of not saying it, you know, but I do feel like some things in this relationship are getting ready to change. So, yeah, no one's saying it, <laughs> but you both know it, because I took a look at the connection here with the Soul Connections card, and I have to say, this is literally so beautiful, like, admire is here, respect, and emotions, like, wow, they're, you know, it's telling you to tap into the emotions and definitely the good stuff about this connection, but, like, you actually think so much of each other. Like, that's what I love. Like, there's, there, yes, there's feelings here for sure, but it's so much more than that. Like, there's respect and admiration. Like, this is, this, I'm remarkable. Like, this is beautiful, Pisces. I don't. I don't even know what to say about this because I think like a lot of times in relationships some of these some of these especially respect would be one of the things missing but I do think that there has been a lot of confusion here I do confusions on the bottom and that tends to deal with you know what's going on underneath the surface I do feel like there's confusion here so maybe you know and maybe a little guilt over things that have happened um, and, and I feel like spirit wants you to remember at the core, the principles in this relationship, that what makes you strong is, wow, it's so beautiful. So beautiful, Pisces. Because you've learned a lot of lessons with this person. <laughs> you definitely have. We're seeing forbidden love, agreement, compromise at the center of the reading. So this, I do feel like there is a, there is a talk and there is movement here that's really positive and karmic lesson which I do feel as if you're releasing so there have been you know and it's funny because when you see third party you're going to think one thing but it's not what you think it's definitely not what you think um so yeah wow so there may be a culmination happening here between you and this person a talk if you will um to really talk about this relationship right? Um, there's something different about the relationship. So forbidding can be, it can be an age difference, can be an ethnic background difference, culture difference, religious belief difference. There's some difference that in some way makes this forbidden. I don't know, but, and with that is the nine of wands and the eight of wands. I feel like, I feel like this relationship has been challenging and kind of had that feeling of, it's never going to come together. You know, it's like we keep trying and then these challenges keep coming up and we keep having to pull it back, heal, and is this ever going to move forward? Well, the Eight of Wands says there is. <laughs> it's about to have some unexpected moving up forward. I don't know if it's unexpected, but what might be weird is how fast it moves forward after being stagnant, right? 
and I feel like on some level you're trying to protect your heart because it, it always got to this point. It's like the Nine of Wands wants to get to the Ten of Wands where we can put the burden down, where, you know, we can have some completion with the difficult things. But the Nine of Wands is kind of that stuck energy for me. It's the wounded warrior. It's where we go to lick our wounds, right? And there, there's a sense of always having to go there. And why can't we get to the Ten of Wands, right? Um, well, there, you know, and I do actually feel like there's a talk coming that's, you know, maybe, you know, bringing about this change. So, yeah, so you're coming to a compromise here. Um, with the Four of Wands and the Magician, this is really interesting. Because I do feel as if you're moving into a solid relationship with this person, an established relationship. And I, I think that's, you know, you're really trying, you're really, you know, going to be talking out, how can we make this work? Because maybe there's something different that needs to happen to make this work. Because the magician uses all of the elements and also says that all of the elements are coming forward to create movement, create an action. And so you're definitely coming together and coming together in a really solid way because that's the 1111 card. There's a real change here, change bringing in harmony. You know, this is unity, so this is happening. This is happening, it's finally happening after all of this Nine of Wands energy, yay. So, you know, it's in terms of the lesson, Ten of Pentacles, um, you're learning that in order to stabilize this relationship in order to make it go the distance here you have to stop letting other people interfere with it there seems to be a big energy with the five of wands of like that's the third party energy it's like letting other people get in the way with whatever their opinions you know um specifically because it's about verbal fighting but it's also about you know we're not going to let other people get in the way of what we're trying to build here because you what you're trying to build is major four of wands and ten of pentacles you're trying to build a life here a fruitful life you know and that that is the lesson that you're learning that well look we're not going to let other people get in the way of this anymore which i think that it's really good in a way if it's other people who have gotten in the way so clearly this wasn't about how you feel about each other. It wasn't about you guys and your feelings. You know, this was really, maybe everyone had something to say and their, what they had to say carried too much weight here, you know? And that's the lesson you're learning. You know, I wanna say something, but I think YouTube will ban me. So Pisces, how you're feeling about all this is judgment, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and I wanted to see more about judgment. You have, both of you want to bring this together. I can tell you both show up in reconciliation energy. Um, and I always, there's always so many Sagittarius cards in your reading. So I think a lot, maybe many of you may be dealing with people with strong Sagittarius placements, but Seven of Wands and Knight of Swords, you're making a decision. And you're going to verbally express this to this person saying, I want to be your partner. I want this partnership and I'm willing to fight for it. Period. Very nice. Very cut and dry. So your person is, they're really in the same energy, Pisces. So your person showing up as the emperor, the seven of pentacles, the moon, so I feel like, like they're kind of showing up in multiple energies here. The Four of Swords and Temperance. I, I feel like there may be some frustration in your person. So, because they do want to do something. They do want to take this to the next level with you, with the Emperor being here. You know, um, finish what you started. You know what I mean? Um, and they know that like, seven of pentacles there needs to be a there's a pivot that needs to happen here um 
and they're just not sure about what that what that is it's kind of like they don't know what the right move is to make and they've been thinking about it a lot um but with temperance being here i would say that they're figuring it out they're figuring out how this works so there there does seem to be some sort of out of the box kind of thing with you and this person the Five of Wands is on the bottom with the Death card and the Four of Cups. You're not letting other people stand in your way. You're just not. You're deciding that this love is worth whatever it is you have to do to bring it together. Oh, wow. This is beautiful, Pisces. Yeah, because you feel, you know, like you two have a life purpose together. Wow, the star. Better cover her up. She's a little naked. Like, this is destiny, and you're both feeling that. Six of Cups. With the Nine of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. Even though you kind of both went your own way for a while, there's, like... You didn't ever give up on it, and you didn't let go of this person. Wells a, Wells a Pisces. So I do feel as if there will be a conversation, um, and, and really in which you know the two of you discuss how this can work. You know, there seems to be, I don't know. It kind of feels like. There seems to be some innovation that needs to happen to make this work. I, I don't know why that is, but I was really feeling that. So we're going to get an outcome here for you and this person. It's really beautiful, though. I can tell you that. Really beautiful. So how does this all turn out for Pisces and their person? How does this all turn out for Pisces and their person? But I also think that, like, it isn't... What I love about this is it isn't just what one person wants. You're coming together to kind of negotiate, figure out what's good for both people. You know, because the magician is the alchemist. It's like, how do we take the situation and make it better how do, how do we make this work because I do feel like there's a determination to make it work even though there might be you know issues there might be like differences definitely so let's see how it all turns out for you Pisces with your person so nice to see a happily ever after here the lovers but <laughs> The Lovers, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Six of Swords. You guys are definitely coming together. So what is he? There's jealousy. There are jealous people here. So there may be an issue with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, which can be a mother figure or female. Okay. That can also be like a, it could be someone that you, that your person was involved with or you were involved with, depending on who you are in this situation. So how's this all turn out? How's this all turn out? The world, okay. <laughs> it's funny, the world, the sun, the eight of swords. You literally can't stop judgment, thinking about each other. Got two more cards, please. Two of swords. One more card for Pisces and their person. One more card, please. Or two. <laughs> wow. Here you are again. You know, it's like you know you want to be together. 
You know you make each other happy. You know that you you want a new cycle that's happy, right? Um, um, there is some stuff to figure out with the Eight of Swords. You know that. Um, but it's so funny because it's like there's confusion in the midst of everything, not knowing how to make everything work out, but also making it work out, right? So the world, the sun, the eight of swords, you know you want this, you're not really sure um, how to make it happen, you know, um, whatever you've been doing up till now, you know that doesn't work, so you need something else needs to be done, you know, because with the eight of swords and judgment, there's definitely a sense of not only coming back together, but leaving the past behind. But making the decision, even though you don't know how to make it work just yet, that you will. Because the Two of Swords, the Page of Cups, the King of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Like, there's just a sense, and I love the King energy, by the way. You know, that you are going to talk about it. I wouldn't say that you know exactly how to make everything work out, but there's definitely a lot of thinking and planning, okay? Yep, Justice with the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords reversed. And, and, and what that really says is that you're not going to um, hold back anymore. You know, you're going to find a solution here. You're going to figure it out. Six of Wands, because you want success here. Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I kind of think you do figure it out, and part of that might be, because the Six of Swords keeps showing up, there may be some move involved. Like a physical relocation kind of move. I don't know what that's about, but... You know, if that, even if it's not a move, there's a lot of talk about how we move on to the world. How do we move on to this next cycle? So it's really positive. I like it. I like it. I like it, Pisces. Um, so let's get a mindful message for you. Can I have a mindful message for Pisces? Message for Pisces, please. Expressing love, Pisces. <laughs> Today I notice the things and appreciate about the people in my life. I take a moment to send them love and to wish them well. My love is infinite and it feels great to express it. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this helps. Toodles.